And welcome back again, everybody. Jim Crane again with you. This time we're going to review a product from Stickman Leather, which is up in Seattle, Washington. This is uh, what the owner, Sean Bettinger, calls the 1930s mailbag. And it's basically loosely based, of course, on a, on a United States Postal Service mailbag. Um, there are some similarities. I'll show you those and then there are some innovations that Sean has done to kind of upgrade the bag so it can be used more in a kind of a modern world um, and we'll go over those. First of all, um, the bag is made from um, what I believe is a uh, oil tanned drum dyed leather of about six or seven ounces. Um, it is dyed all the way through. It's got a really pretty nice feel to it. It's kind of a, um, a firmer, denser kind of leather. He uses all kinds of leathers. Um, I had one of these oh, a couple years ago that was made with more of like a, a pebbled leather um, that didn't quite have the same kind of firmness as this one. Um, but he, what he'll do is he'll make like a dozen of these all at once. He'll cut out all the flaps and cut out all the sides and pieces and then kind of in an assembly line fashion kind of put them together so um, you, you kind of really never know which one you're going to get unless you specifically um, you know tell Sean you know which bag you want. He sells these at the Pikes Place Market in Seattle and um, online at stickmanleather.com um, but um, just to give you the dimensions of the bag, it's 15 inches wide, it's 13 inches tall, and it is about 7 inches um, deep. Okay, so it's built kind of using the traditional mailbag recipe. Um, so you've got the bottom piece, which is all one, this is all one piece of leather down here. It's stitched together with two stitch lines and then three copper rivets which is very much uh, like a U.S. mail bag is constructed. Um, he does uh, do something that's kind of nice, and that puts a handle on the back of it. And this handle is a um, piece of the leather that is um, folded over three times, I believe. I think it's three pieces of leather. It might just be folded over twice, but I, I think it's three times. Stitched and then uh, put on with copper rivets. The hardware is all um, solid cast hardware. The D-rings are all cast. So the hardware is nice and hardy. Uh, the shoulder strap is um, two pieces of leather sewn together um, using the same leather. Shoulder pad actually has um, saddle pad in it, which is uh, used in like horse tack. It's um, a closed cell type of foam so it's not like you know like a sponge it will um, not really break down with usage and time and it is nicely padded it's an actual nicely padded shoulder pad which feels good on the shoulder and then it's um, adjustable using a, a regular buckle um, he does have two keepers which I love so that this piece of leather the excess um, isn't flopping around so there's a keeper here and a keeper here so nice job, I like that aspect of it. Um, the leather I like, it's beautiful. It's kind of, um, this is kind of like a, I don't know, almost an antique type of leather, but it, it is beautiful. He does use the side straps, traditional upper side straps on a mail bag. So um, what I love about this bag, my favorite part of this bag is there's no closure to the flap. I just love being able to flop it open there is a closure here, okay, so, um, and it's adjustable, so there's two snaps, and these are buffalo head nickel um, snaps um, that he uses. So you just open it up like that, you get into the bag. You'll notice here, there's his logo, and then he's got a big zip pocket, and the zip pocket on this bag is 10 inches uh, deep and 14 inches wide, so you can put quite a bit of stuff in there. It's uh, leather in there. It's not lined with fabric. It's just the leather that's in there. He's got a um, nice little pool that he made here. This is a big YKK number 10 zipper. 
and these pretty much are indestructible. They will basically last you forever. So it does hold a lot, okay? So I've got quite a bit of stuff packed in here. So here's a big, um, big binder, okay? And then it will hold an iPad, no problem, okay? And um, let's see, we got a little book for reading. John Muir, My First Summer in the Sierra. Very nice book to read if you like John Muir. You can put your journal in there as well. There are two pockets in the front, and the interior is lined with leather. It's not lined with uh, fabric, so it's a leather interior. So you've got a place for your um, day timer, got a place for your field notes, place for your wallet. Okay, And in the back, he's got this nice, pretty cool document folder is what he calls it, and it's a piece of leather. This piece of leather for the flap is also sewn into the spine of the bag. So there are, I think, four pieces of leather here all together making up the spine. It's a nice rigid spine. It holds the weight of the bag beautifully. Um, this is kind of the essence of a mailbag. Some people make mailbags based on what they've seen in pictures, and they they don't put this part in. This is the most important aspect of a mailbag is this spine to, to hold the weight, provide the, um, the area that you need to, to carry all that weight that's down in the bag. So this flap here, which is, uses a snap, um, nice thick piece of leather here. You open that up and you have this document pocket here so you can carry uh, some uh, documents in there. It'll hold that file folder, um, and then you can snap it back, and then this is adjustable, depending on how much, what the contents are you are carrying with you. So all in all, a really nice bag. It's simple. It is, um, it's about maybe th three and a quarter, three and a 3.75, maybe four pounds altogether. It's not light. Um, that's why I believe it's an oil tan leather because the leather has kind of a waxy feel, kind of a dense feel to it. Um, so nice bag. I love it. I had one before. I like it. Um, Sean does a nice job. He is a one-man show. He builds all of his own bags. He has been for, I think, since the late 1980s, something like that. So by now he is pretty good at it. Um, there will be a link below. He makes this, the 1930s mailbag. He makes something called the Lindy bag, which is more of a double buckle satchel. And then um, he makes some other, he makes some purses and he makes some other small, like the adventure bag and some, and small other goods too. Um, but if you're in Seattle and you want to check him out, he's at the Pike Place Market, or you can check him out online at stickmanleather.com. I love it. It's a nice little everyday carry. It is not too expensive. It's right in the median range, price range, but it is a handmade uh, leather mail satchel. Beautiful, beautiful piece of leather. I love it. So um, check them out if you're in the market, and we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.